Hey guys, it's Talia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a special little extra um, video for you guys. Something that I thought about a while back. Um, I think I was going to do it earlier this year or last year and I never did. Um, but I thought I would take you guys through all of my books, all of my cross stitch books. Yeah. You know, the ones that I'm not actually stitching anything out of. Um, but that is my goal. I actually think I'm actually thinking of doing that next year. Is to, if I decide to start a new start every month next year, um, it's going to be out of one of my books or a magazine. Probably one of my books. Because, let me show you guys see that that big stack right there that is all my books <laughs> I have a lot and truth be known some of them like this one on top right here might actually end up getting put on eBay or stash and load or whatever um, because I don't I don't know if I see myself stitching anything out of them or not but I'll take you through and show you what I have so that you get an idea about what I'm working with here. And just a little bit. So this first one, um, this one is actually a needle point book. I'm gonna give you guys a little mystery here. Um, this first one is, a, is actually more needle point than cross stitch. Um, there's some gorgeous um, Asian inspired designs in here. But like I said, they're needle point. Um, this is More Needle Point by Design by Maggie Lane. Um, and like I said, as you can see from the image on the cover here, this, there's, these are more Asian inspired designs. Um, like this is one on the back. Um, and throughout this video, I'm, I'm going to give you an idea about what's in each book, but I, I'm not going to go and do a full flip through of any of these books. Um, there were some color photos at some point, I think I saw. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's the, that's the one that's on the back cover. And then we have this, these here. Um, and then we have a couple more that are in here. Um, more pillows. A lot of these are listed as like pillows. Um, but they're very pretty. Let's see this one. This one. But that gives you an idea about what's in here. Um, like I said, it's not really any cross stitch in here. It's a needlepoint book. Um, here's a few more color photos here. Um, this is just a checkerboard, something or other. Um, this, is, this one, this one is what's on the front cover. Um, a couple more pillows. Um, these are really pretty, the birds. And then we got one more bird here. So, but, um, like I said, that's, this one will probably end up going on like eBay or Sash and Load or something because I don't, this is Needlepoint. I don't do Needlepoint. Um, or if anybody watching might be interested in this, hit me up down below in the comments and I will happily send this off to you. Because like I said, I don't, I don't see myself stitching doing any needle point out of this. Um, I didn't think this through. I didn't, I didn't clear myself a place to put, I guess we'll, I guess I'll put it on my tote. The next one is a bunch of cross stitch alphabets. Um, this is, let's see who it's by. 
David and Charles is the pu publishing company. Um, I don't see any like authors. Hmm. This has David and Charles copyright 2003. Um, like a lot of difference. I don't really need to go through this book because you can kind of see what's in here. A bunch of different cross stitch alphabets. Um, there's some cute ones in here. Um, like this one is really pretty. If I can show this, this like this is kind of pretty. Um, the way they did that. So, um, but there's some like give you some ideas about what else you could do, like some cards or something. So. I have that one. Um, might hold on to this one. You never know. I might need a letter or something. This next one, I did actually used to see something in here that I liked. Have to go back through it and see it again. I think I did a flip through of this. I can't remember. Um, this is a year of cross stitch, and it is by Jody Davis. Patterns for every season. Mm. Um, I said, I'm not going to do like a full flip through if somebody, if anybody wants to see one, I can do one. Um, they do divide them up by season, um, spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, I'm trying to find something that I think is pretty, um, we have a happiness is homemade. Um, oh goodness, I am so sorry, you guys. Um, so kind of a pretty dove sampler looking thing. And they call it dove sampler. Now we get into the summer. Um, a little cat in a window. Um, that's like a 3D design, so you stitch, um, stitch different parts of it on different pieces of like fabric or possibly plastic canvas. Um, um, Background stitched on 28 count light blue Brittany for foreground, which is the kitty with the fern, um, is stitched on 14 count white beta. So, and then it gives you the finishing instructions for that. Um, cute little birdhouse thing. Um, <laughs> it's like you stitch the door um, with the, the railing and all that stuff, and then you finish it so that the framing, the, the matting makes it look like a house. I thought that was cute. Sorry. Um, this is pretty. I do like that. It's kind of pretty. It's called Berry Sampler. Um, it's a cute, pretty welcome one. Um, this is pretty, but I don't know if I would do it on the blue fabric. I think that would look good just on like a, um, on a beige fabric. So, um, I did think this one was pretty. I think this one was featured on the cover. So I did like that one. Probably not stitching it in a pillow though. You know, I don't really do pillows, but so this just gives you an idea about what's in here. Let's see if there's anything in the winter section that I want to show you. Eh, not really. There's a purse. This this stained glass angel one is really is kind of pretty though. I do like that. So. Um, but that is that book. Um, a year of cross stitch by Jody Davis. And see if I can see what year this is out of. Uh, 
I said, if anybody sees anything that they want me to do a full flip through, let me know. Um, it's possible. There's a few books that I did a couple years ago. I know I've, I've done um, full flip throughs of. So this is out of, this is from 1995. Um, this one does not have a cover. I don't know what happened to the cover. I received it like this. This is Donna Cooler's 555 Country Cross Stitch Patterns. Um, it's by Sterling Publishing. Um, so I can see a year. Probably old. Possibly 1998. Um, like I said, by, by Cooler Design, so... Um, I'll give you each section. These, this one is divided by sections, like a lot of these Donna Cooler design pattern books. Um, they feature a sampler of mm, probably a good chunk of the designs, but you can pick out any of these individual motifs and do a separate. So I just kind of want to give you an idea about what's in here. Um, that was celebrations. Um, there's some alphabets in here. Um, and really all these, all these sections have, there's a home sweet home. This is like really your country, country stuff. Um, different home related designs. Kindred spirits, um, this is like family and, um, marriage, husband, wife, that type of thing. Um, but that's, that'll give you an idea, um, love and friendship. Um, and we have mother nature with some plants and stuff. Plants, birds, that kind of thing. So that's what that is. That's the, um, like I said, show it again. This one doesn't have a cover, so. I just love it when pages like to stick together. Well, it's right there. If I can just get to it. Okay. Donna Cooler's 555 Country Cross Stitch Patterns. Um, then we have the best of cross stitch basics. Um, there's not a ton of patterns in here, but there are some, you know, decent designs in here. Um, they got bookmarks and stuff. Bookmarks and stuff. Corner, um, page markers, you know, which would be good for like a Bible. That way you don't have to, um, there's a couple of cute ones. I really like, I like that red sampler right there. A couple of cute ones. Um, some more samplers. So there's more in here than what I'm showing. I'm just giving you guys, trying to give you guys an idea. I kind of like this one though. That one's different. That one almost has an, like an Aztec or um, Spanish feel to it. I really like that one. And then this is what was on the other page. Um, there's some flower designs in here, which are kind of pretty. Um. That one's pretty. I like that one. But a couple other ones. I'm not crazy about how they finish these things. Um, it just makes it very, very dated. I do like that delft blue one right there. I like, I'd see, they have it a pillow and then they have it without the border here. Like on a, um, what would you call it? 
not a trivet. Um, Y'all are screaming at me as you put your cup on or just escape me, but yeah. But that's basically about like what is in here. Um, there's a couple of um, alphabets in here. You got some baby stuff in here as well. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of the baby stuff that's in here. So, but that is that one. There's what's on the back cover. Um, like I said, this is uh, the best of best of cross stitch basics. This is by Leisure Arts. Um, and it is from, if I can find out, two thousand ten, two thousand ten. So, got that. Um, decorative cross stitch. by Maria Diaz. She's kind of a name in cross stitch. Sorry, didn't want to cover anything up. Um, there's a little bit more of an example about what's in here. Um, this is from, find a year on this before I go any further. This is from 2003. Um, again, these are in sections. They give you some tips and tricks on cross stitching. There's a cute little strawberry border for those who like strawberries. Um, little poppy design. There's a lot of like simple things in here. These things are really simple. Um, that's a cute, um, what do you call it? Camellia? They've got it on the bed and I'm sure you could just Stitch it on anything you want. Um, picture motifs. There's some, some seashells. So these are really basic designs. And there's a windmill. Um, gingham play mat and pram toys. Textual stuff. There's the Japanese lady. Um, animal motifs. Here's some barnyard. Um, I know a lot of people like the barnyard stuff. A couple of cute kitties. Um, yeah. So. Um, oh, thought I heard knocking, but I think it was on the TV. Uh, a little white sampler. They, for some reason, it says this is on 14 count Ada, but that looks really open. It says an Ada band. Anyway, and cute little playing card motifs. I do like those. Those are cute. Um, and here's a red something or other. Eh. Anyway, one last thing. Turkish bathroom. That's what they call it. But... That's about what's in here. Um, really, this book is about cross stitching on towels and napkins and stuff like that. Um, but you could very well stitch any of this stuff on something else other than what they show it as. So, that one. 
Um, this next one is Splendid Samplers. This is Pl Splendid Samplers to Cross Stitch 35 Original Projects. This is by Chris Rankin. Um, I don't want to show too much in here. This is pretty. Sorry. I'm trying to avoid a lot of glare. This is a romantic age sampler. I think this is the original, if I'm not mistaken. This was, um, I don't know if this is the original or not, or if they, if they give instructions on how to age it up. Alpine flowers. Only thing that bothers me about this book is that they put a picture of the sampler between two pages. And so a lot of it gets lost. Um, this is called the Brownstone House Sampler. See, like this. There's a pattern over here. Like this. Could you not have found a better place to put this? Like that's the only thing that bugs me about this book because they do this on several patterns. There's the home celebration sampler, and there's a pattern on the other side. Um oh here's the uh, the ad. This is called a Caribbean sampler, but it looks more Aztec to me, a little bit more Spanish. And something like this, you could um, pull any one of these uh, squares out and do it separately, just as a motif. Um, There's some um, baby kids samplers in here. Um, there's the memorial sampler. And a couple of cute flowery samplers. So that's the kind of stuff that's in here. Um, the pictures aren't great. And like I said, they, for some reason, they decided that some of these pictures, I wanted to put them smack dab in the middle of two pages. So, but that's that book. This is um, Splendid Samplers to Cross Stitch. And it is by Chris Rankin. And I did say, did I say what year this was out of? Um, it's by Sterling Publishing. Nineteen ninety five. It says English translation, nineteen ninety five. So that's that one. Um. Then we have beautiful cross stitch. I've seen this around in other places. I like that design right there. That's probably the the best one that I like out of this book. Um. This is put out by Better Homes and Gardens. Um, and this is 2004 copyright. Um, again, we have sections with different um, topics, so to speak. Themes, that's the word. Like that and they have sampler that what it is they'll have like a sampler of everything um just roses that's pretty like stitch it up like that or you could pull any of those out and by itself um i'm not going to go through this whole book like this 
Um, this is children's favorites. They kind of they kind of have that embroidery look to them, where it has like the um, outline. Um, just some baby animals. Um, around the world. There's some Asian symbols. Um, yeah, like what they've done is they, I like that one. Um, the rose mailing, rose mailing. That's what's on the cover. Um, I do like that. Um, here's some art of Mexico. <clears throat> I kind of have to stop myself from showing you guys every single thing that's in here. They have some art pull. They have some borders in here that you could use for something. I got they have a Christmas tree border. Is that? <laughs> they have a Christmas tree border. You know, like the girls right there. Those are different. It's not something you would expect. Um. Nature borders. Mm -hmm. Stained glass. I got in again, these are not um like full patterns what they've done is they've stitched diff the different motifs up together in one um on one piece of fabric to kind of show them off for the book um have some western motifs there anybody that likes that but anyway let me make sure there's nothing else in here here is, um, this, I think this one is interesting. This is stamp, sampler stamped goods. Um, and it has, um, that look to it. So that's interesting, I think. Um, there's some country. I do like that rooster though. I could stitch that rooster up by himself. So but that's, that's what's all in here. Um, a sampling of what's in here. Um, again, this is beautiful cross stitch. Um, it's put out by Better Homes and Gardens. So, it's that one. Um, this next one might be another one that I give up. This is Lisbeth Perron's Folk Art and Needlepoint and Cross Stitch. So, the cover right here gives you a good idea about what's in here. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that's not represented. And some of these books is really, like, not much worth doing a full flip through of. Um, they have, like, these things in here. Um... Something like this. Um, like I said, this one is... This is for somebody that likes to stitch this kind of stuff. And if you're wondering how I came about stuff like this... Um... I got it through with the, here's another, some, a couple of samplers on there, some other motifs. And there's a lot of individual um, border style motifs in here, um, which you could easily put into if you were to want to design your own sampler or um, add it around the edge of something. Um, 
There's a skirt they did um, with these two bands on it. And there's some of the other motifs in here. So, like I said, this might be another book that I give up. Um, if you're interested, uh, let me know down in the comments and I will pass this along to you. Now the, it's not in the best of shape. Um, the cover is, you know, it's bent up, it's used. So, but the pages, the pages are still, although they're worn with age, um, they're, they're like faded a little bit on the yellowy side with age. I mean, they're still in pretty good condition. And this has got to be an old book. This is by Random House Publishing, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is an old book. This is as old as me. This is from 1978. So, like I said, if you're interested, let me know. And I'll pass this along to you. Um, then we have um, Jane Natalie Mayhew's Crossage Jungle. Um, there's a couple of pretty patterns there that they show on the back for a chameleon and a tiger. A couple of those guys there. Um, like I said, this is Jane Netley Mayhew. This is another one that's put out by David and Charles. This is copyright 2008. Um, I'm not going to go through and show every single thing that's in here. A um, couple of pretty, pretty macaws. Um, elephant um, photo. For those that like elephants. Oh, this one is... This one is really something. Tree frogs. Um, I don't know if they give a better... That's what they show. I don't know if that's the full pattern. I think it is. Yeah, that's the full pattern. Um, and I think they have some... I think this, this one right here is an ocelot. If I'm not mistaken, I won't say this is an Australian animal. Um, it is the largest of the small cats of the rainforest and can be found all over South and Central America and Mexico. That's a lot. There's some gorgeous patterns in here. Don't get me wrong. Um, there's another a toucan. Um, cute little orangutan. And baby. So that is what you're getting on this one. I think this was a pheasant here. It's your bird of paradise. So, but that's the kind of stuff you get in here. Um, I'm going to keep this, I'm not giving it away right now. Um, so yeah, Jane, May, Jane Netley Mayhew's Cross Stitch Jungle. This one I was actually looking at the other day. I need to start something out of this Ponto. This is the Cross Stitchers Oriental Odyssey. Designs by Joan Elliott. Yep. Joan Elliott for Design Works Crafts. So, um, this has all, not all, but this has her... Asian inspired designs. This is not all going to be all of the ones that she's ever done. That's a pretty geisha. I will show you. She has like, I think, three ladies in here. Three geisha ladies. Um, these are pretty, the four elements. Those would make interesting um, pillows and then to have them all on the same couch. Kimono row. I think these are cute. I gotta show you these. What if I can get back to the page? 
Um, little treasures. There's a bonsai tree and a butterfly. And a little dragonfly right there. You can see them. So. And I think that one's a pattern too. No, that's just a box they have. So those are cute. Small little designs. That bonsai tree is really cute. Um, and he's only 55 by 55, so they wouldn't take long. Oriental Lady Grace. There's a couple of Chinese flowers. And I think there's one more geisha lady in here. There's a couple of fans. These are gorgeous designs. Like, I don't know why I have not started one up to this point. And then here's the Oriental Lady Wisdom. She is the one that's on the cover. But this one, I definitely need to start something out of next year. So, Cross Stitchers Oriental Odyssey. Um, then we have, somebody showed, showed that they had gotten this book or a lot with this book in it. 2001 Cross Stitch Designs by Better Homes and Gardens. There's too much in this. This is an essential reference book. There's just way too much in this to really give a good um, flip through of it, right, you know, quickly. Um, there's some kids' designs. I'm holding it back because if you look at it up close, it looks like crap. Kids' designs. Um, some baby motifs in here. There's some teddies. Um, some holiday designs. These would be good for Christmas cards, like the um, points that are right there. Um, here's another one with holiday. Since we're coming up on the holidays, like the bells and stuff like those, that'd be pretty Christmas cards. Um, they have a 12 Days of Christmas one, just a simplified, um, there's some floral borders, um, all occasion borders, I said just different things. State flowers. Um, some, uh, Mother Nature. Um, farm and Forest. So, there, there's so much in this book. I can't, there's no way for me to show everything, even a good representation of what's in here um 2001 cross stitch designs i think this is another book that i did do a flip through of but i'm not entirely sure um if you're interested in that let me know i can either look that up or i can film a full flip through of this so so that one let's see this one is well i mean i guess it's 2000 and you know I would say 2001. It wasn't put out 2001. Um, this was actually put out in 1999. <laughs> so, that one. Um, I'm going to pause here real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. Um, I had to check something real quick. So, now we get into the books that I really do kind of like. For the most part. These are more recent. Um, this first one's gotten dirty in my care. Um, but that is the Joan Elliott Bewitching Cross Stitch. Um, this one has 
you know, are more mystical designs. Um, we have the Celtic wheel, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Katie, um, Katie, the uh, stash queen, she did this a while back. I remember, I think I remember her doing it. Um, um, they have patterns, uh, I think there's a wizard right here. Well, find the wizard. Here's a wizard. Um, and you can, they give you several designs about what you can put in his uh, crystal ball right there. This is what I'm stitching out of this book. That's what it's supposed to look like. But it's taken me this long, like four years to do it. So, <laughs> maybe one day. Um, this is cute. Um, this would be a good Halloween. I'm going to show you the main one. They have this witchy lady right here. And they have like a little extra design. This one right up here, this one is really cute. I could see myself stitching that one year. So, um, and then we have this beautiful dragon crescent moon dragon and what was her name Elisa I want to say she stitched this at some point this there's a whole lot of krennic in this moon so but that is beautiful I'm not normally into dragons but if I should ever finish my Chinese phoenix this one might be the next one out of this book so but that is what's in here. Um, I think there's, let me show you that cat too. It actually also has Father, Son, and Mother Moon in it. There's Father, Son, and I've got Mother Moon at the back. And Mother Moon. So, but that's the gist of what's in here. And there's this cat, this cat one is in here as well. So, Bewitching Cross Stitch by Joan Elliott. Um, I can find this one is very well loved by me well mostly because I've gotten it's gotten moved around and bumped around and so this is by this, this was put out in 2008 so. um and then we have is this the same one? Oh no this is Donna Kohler's 555 cross stitch designs for the young at heart the other one was the country designs. So this one, there's an, is another another time, and I can't really show you every single thing that's in here. Um, kind of form. I call that section Old McDonald's form. And it's literally just a bunch of farm and animal. This one. Do it. I had Mary Mary quite contrary. There's a lot of plant designs in here. Plant and vegetable designs. Um Rich man, poor man, like different jobs. An old woman who lived in a shoe. Some reason it's like house and teapot house designs. So, and then last one, Noah's Ark. That one, that says Donna Cooler by Sterling Publishing. Um, circa 2001. Um, we're getting through these. 
Then we have 501 cross stitch designs by Sam Hawkins. I think I did a flip through of this. Um, if you're interested, let, um, just ask me down in the comments and I will point you to that video. Um, this book is falling apart, so I'm not, I can't show a whole lot in here. Um, it's by, Mer it looks like it's by Meredith Press. Mm. From 1993. Um, there's some floral designs. What they do is they give each section. They show every single one of the motifs that's in that section. I said this book is falling apart. Um, and you have some baby designs. Let's see, there's a whole section in here that's come unglued. Um, Sports designs. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show that. No, I'm not going to be able to show that. Just different things. I do want to show this one. These ones are like house designs. People that like to stitch houses and stuff. If I go too fast on showing these pages and stuff just you can pause the video um but yeah there's there's a lot in here and like i said this book is falling apart so i can't really show too much um without completely tearing it up but a ton of good motifs in here there's a Sam santa motif that i've done in the past to kind of try out my 6c floss that i when i first got it so it just gives you an idea of what's in here. Um, lots of good, the same, same picture on the back that is on the front. I just realized that. Um, but lots of good motifs in here. If you like stitching smalls and ornaments and stuff. Um, then we have newer books. This one is this year's Cross Stitch Christmas. I'm not doing a flip through of this. Other people have done a flip through of this. Um, there's really nothing in here that I care. Um, that's kind of pretty, I guess. Those are kind of cute. This is why I don't throw things away. Um, yeah, that Merry Christmas one right there is um, Doreen Jones. Should have guessed. Um, all this is like pastels in this section. Um, that's kind of pretty if I can show that without the... Uh, I don't want to take too long doing this video either because um, Abby is napping. I like the idea. Oh yeah, there's a better picture of that one. And then a pretty Noel one. That one is kind of pretty. I'm not gonna lie. This is why I don't throw these books away because my tastes are always changing. So one minute I might like something and next minute I don't or vice versa. Um, here's your, these are more of your modern patterns, give or take. Um, Playful palette. So, but there's an idea of more stuff that's in here. Those are kind of cute. So, but that's that's this year's 2020 cross stitch Christmas um, warmest wishes. So, um, just in case you're wondering. That's from this year, 2020. Um, then we have Mary Inglebright, uh, cross stitch for all seasons. Um, 
by Marriages Press. Um, this is copyright 1997. Um, just kind of point out a couple of the designs that I do really like in here. Um, this is not one that I like, but that is a big pumpkin. That is an insane amount of solid stitching. You'll never catch me doing that pumpkin. Just saying. Um, home is where the heart is. And they have pulled this chair out and done it by itself. So like that. And they've also pulled that cat that's actually on top of the chair. They pulled him out and done him, charged him by himself as like a border on a towel. Um, and they chart all of these things um, separately, so there's a Santa, I believe. And you could just as easily leave off the two green borders on the side if you just want to do the Santa by himself. We got some ornaments. And a Santa. Um, um, this one's pretty. There was one that I was going to do a while back. It had a, a really pretty um, teapot. I think that's in here. Yeah. I like that teapot, it's really cute. And then they also have another one. Um, they have a cup holder, cup and saucers. This one right here, I really like this too. With the shelf of teapots. I really like that one too. And then we have a teapot cozy. So. But, and that is for that one, Mary Inglebright Cross Stitch for All Seasons. Um, this one's an old book that I happened upon. Don't know if I like anything in here enough to do it. Um, this is from 1994, Seasons Remember. Um, but by Leisure Arts. I've seen different versions of these, so I don't know if there's like a way to differentiate them. <clears throat> that one. What, they do, what they've done is they've put all of the pictures of all the things um, in that section at the front. In the summer, the lady on the hammock reading. Um, I like that boat right there. That's pretty. Um, am I a boat person that will ever stitch a boat? Probably not, but I'm not going to put it past me, so... And then autumn. It's a really pretty sand floor right there. And then kind of a similar design. It's pulling that basket out. Pulling this basket out by itself. So that's the thing you can do. But that's basically what you get in this book, um, that kind of stuff. So that is the Seasons Remembered. I don't know if this is this book 
orifices. It's some um, Leisure Arts Presents Christmas Remembered Book 9. So, I think these may have been um, a series, just like the way um, Craftways is doing a Christmas book every year. They just kind of title it something different. I don't know. So that's that one. Um, then we have Donna Cooler's Cross Stitch Flowers. Another one I just kind of happened upon on Listia. When I first got into cross stitching, about several years back, um, I was trying to buy up all of the things that I thought would be good to have. Um, this book is 2006. Can't show you everything. Pink cabbage. Um, there's a lot of coasters. That's the word I was looking for, a coaster. Um, I think I did a flip through of this one. They even tell you how to do frames in here. Um, that's a pretty cross and they actually show a color variation of it in yellow as well. And I like that one a little bit better. Um, Classic Dahlia. And pretty Sunflower one. Um, <laughs> they have this one and then they have another color variation with it in pink. With the, uh, the flower in pink. Alluring Amaryllis. That's pretty. So if you're somebody likes that likes stitching flowers, this book is definitely for you. Tree Peony, that one that's actually really pretty. So yeah. And they have a section in here with like purses. Like stuff stitched on purses. Not my thing. Pillows. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the type of stuff you'll find in here. So, done the coolers, cross stitch flowers. We're getting there, we're getting there. I only have a few more. Um, then we have the Secret Garden in Cross Stitch um, by Thea Governor. I've seen this from several people as well. Here's the thing. I don't know if this is my cup of tea. So I may pass this along. Maybe, maybe not. Um, they have like September plums. Try not to like bend this book up too much. Just in case. Um, there's honeysuckle, which you would think being from the south, I would want to stitch, but no. Um, so it's the poppies. I think this is the one on the cover. Yeah, this is the one on the cover. There's a lot of designs in here with like wildflowers. It says garden herbs. Um, rose baskets. So, but that's, so that's, that's this book for the most part. Um, don't know if I will ever want to stitch anything in here. Um, if not, then I will, I will give this one up as well. Um, this one is actually well sought after. So, if you're interested in this one, if you, like I said, there's a lot of, like, these are really, really, like, delicate cross-stitch designs. 
Um, so for somebody that likes stitching this kind of stuff, um, hit me up and I'll pass this along. If more people, um, if more than one person is interested in anything that I show, then I will, um, I will just do a drawing and, um, pick a winner out of the people that commented. Um, and then we have this one, the big book of cross stitch design. This one I found in a charity thrift shop. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 75 cents or something, like, something ridiculous like that. So, um, there is a ton in here, obviously. This is by Reader's Digest. Um, over 900 simple to stitch decorative motifs. Um, not going to show a ton out of here. Um, but there are things in here that I've seen that I like. Um, and this is another case where they, where they stitch like multiple motifs on one. Like something like that. Um, just kind of flipping through here. Cute little baby. Don't want to show the pattern on that page. Cute little baby sampler alphabets. Mm. Yeah, there's just a lot. Um, you got some dinosaurs. You got festive treats. This one you would stitch um, as a advent calendar. So a lot of this is just like just like simple motifs here and there this one is kind of cute that one's kind of cute um this book is very heavy i can't continue to hold it for too long something like that there's a like i said most of the stuff that's in here is actually um very simple singular motifs um and i'm there's no way i can show everything that's in here this key is pretty like that um So I'm trying to just show like things. Um, so there's a lot in here. It's it's hard to show everything that's in here. Um, especially some of the way they have these things um, photographed. It's pretty. And that would be good to just pull out uh, individual letters and do a name or mom or something like that. or home um but yeah that's there's there's a ton in this book there's a, a metric ton in this book this is another one that i think i've already done that i that i did a, a flip through of i can't remember if i did or not um this one would be tricky to do a flip through of because they're small motifs a lot of them the picture is on the same page as the pattern um, this one would be tricky to do. Go pick this book up. You, you're not going to be, if it's not too expensive, if you can find it for cheap, then it wouldn't be a waste of money. So, um, there's kind of another idea, some more in there. Like I said, ton of patterns in this book. So, and then we have this one. This one is actually a favorite of mine. I'm actually doing three different designs out of this book. So I have this one. 101 Best Love Designs from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. Um, and here's a secret about this book. 
Well, it's a secret about the designs in this book. A lot of them weren't in cross section country crafts, so to speak. There was a magazine that existed, I think probably right before cross section country crafts, or they changed their name to cross section country crafts. And that was, um, I'll have to look it up and, and find it. I can't remember. <coughs> um, cross stitch and needlework. I have to, like I said, I have to look it up. I can't remember. Um, but there are a ton of good designs in this. And trains. Anybody that likes trains or, or airplane or, um, classic airplanes. Um, bit, bit, bit. If I ever finish the, the three that are in my whip list right now, this will probably be the next one I start. There's this one. That's a lot of pull work. Yeah, yeah you're not going to catch me doing that. Um, this is the sa Spanish sampler that I'm working on. This can be found, um, I think, by Cooler Designs. And uh, McKenna showed off a magazine, country cross stitching country craft magazine that she purchased with these two kids in it. <laughs> they are so freaking creepy. Oh, let me show the kids first. These two kids. The boy, I don't mind. He's not the best looking thing in the world, but I don't mind. This girl right here is creepy. I'm sorry, McKenna. She's creepy. So, those are in this book. And then we also have the ever popular. Just had it. Um, Mid Amish Life trio. Um, so, that's in here. Um, trying to think what else. They have these in sections as well. Um. A couple of cute, another cute little kids. Nativity people. Like I said, this isn't anything that I'm showing. Any of these books that I'm showing is not all inclusive. Um, this guy is really pretty. I like him too. Um, and at one point I was gonna do one of these. I can't remember which one I was gonna do, but it's like it's mostly chronic. But they were using DMC. Not doing that. Um, a couple of floral patterns. Um, this rose garden sampler um, is kind of popular. And then we have a couple of the ones over here. So, um. little um door hanger finger puppets and a box of chocolates you can stitch yourself a box of chocolates so um and this is the dutch sampler that i'm doing if i can get back to it that's what bothers me is i put these things in they put all of the patterns together. They put the pictures at the front of the section and then put the designs behind that. And this is another pattern that I'm doing, the Dutch sampler. So that's another one that I think you can find through Cooler Designs. But that's what's in here. I love this book. I will never give this book up. If you can find this, um, for 
not as expensive as it's been going on Amazon right now. If you can find it cheap, definitely jump on it. Uh, maybe on eBay, eBay or something. You won't regret it. There's a ton of really good, nice designs in here. See, a lot of them I didn't even show. So, but I'm pretty sure I've done a flip through of this. Um, look back on my on my videos or just ask me and I can look and see if I can find it in the comments. I'll, I'll ask me in the comments and I will look and see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I did a flip through of it though. And last but not least, this is my pride and joy. I was not cheap, especially at her shipping. <laughs> the shipping was a little unexpected. So, got that. Um, this one has a ton of her popular designs. It has all her elemental goddesses. Well, not all of them. It has the water goddess and the fire goddess. Water goddess, and then I think the fire goddess is over here. And then we have the fire goddess. Um, this book is literally all Joan Elliot. If you didn't, if you didn't notice. Um, a unicorn and the maiden. I did do a flip through of this. I do remember when I first got it. I think I did a flip through of it. Mm. Beautiful Christmas angel. Mm, that's just one of them that's in here. And then she has a Santa. She has a Father Christmas. Um, there's another one of her geishas, the Eastern Promise. One day, maybe when I'm like 80, I will have a wall with Joan Elliott geishas on the um, Water Wonderland. That's pretty. And here is, um, I think this is the same one that was in the other book. Eastern Promise. Oh, sorry, Oriental Lady. And then we have Flamboyant and Free. The teapot. That one is really pretty. That one's gorgeous. Um... Some cute little kid cards. She has a golden Buddha. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like leaning back like that. Um, and they have... They have the Castle Princess. I think it's also known as the Reader. Um, if you pick it up by Design Works or as a kid, it's called The Reader, I think. Um, they have Stitching Renaissance. I don't think that these are the actual title names of these designs. Um, in case you're wondering what this is, this is a hanging file folder, um, bar. And I keep these, I keep this book actually with my magazines. Um, Green Goddess. This go, This actually goes well with the um, Father, Son, and Mother Moon. And I wanted to show this though. Um, in each of these sections, oh, oh well, around where you find these charts throughout the book you can find where they are suggesting other patterns by the designer um because she has way more patterns than um can fit in one book uh winter fairy
So yeah. And we have the Autumn Fairy. So that's a taste of what's in this magazine. So I got that one. And I think I managed to find this particular um, magazine on, it was on eBay. But I didn't notice that it was coming out of the UK. So I think it was like 60 pounds or something like that. And by the time it translated to American dollars, it was like 70 something dollars plus an insane amount of shipping. I don't even remember how much the shipping was, but can be found. You just got to keep your eye out on it. So that, that concludes all of my books. Um, hope you guys had fun going through these with me. Um, if you're interested, the one couple that I mentioned that I wanted to kind of offload, um, if you're interested in them, leave me a comment down below if multiple people are interested, um, then I can just draw a name and, um, uh, ship it out to the winner. So, um, that's going to do it for this time being. And, um, I will see you guys in the next vlog video. Bye.